Every year, Electric Forest Festival takes place in Rothbury, Michigan. Last year, via a chance encounter in the crowd, I met a pair of young veterans, Pat and Tim, who I learned both lost limbs serving our country in Afghanistan. After the festival, I reconnected with the guys and was able to share their story on Thump, learning how electronic music and festivals had become a part of their healing process, giving them a unique sense of community. Pat, the team here at Thump, as well as the organizers at Electric Forest and Madison House Presents, developed a program called Electric Forces, which we brought to the festival this year for the very first time. We created a space for our nation's vets and festival goers to share their stories in hopes to connect the dots between festivals and the magic that can happen when people get together to dance. You know, kind of just going to this program we've been developing over the year, Electric Forces, what's the story that you want to tell and why is this something, you know, it's so meaningful to you and something that you've been so dedicated, you know, in working with us throughout the year? I learned basically how to love life in a really horrible place. I feel like I have this great cathartic ability to impress that, that love of life upon people. I just want an opportunity to be able to do that here because it's done it for me so much. You know, it's, it's just a way for me to use my combat, the catharsis I got from it, to help other people find happiness. My name is Christopher Breedlove and I'm the conceptual artist as well as the producer of the Human Avatar Project, which is uh, helping with Electric Forces this year. But this year we did a bunch of upgrades to our kind of face space station and there's a bunch of multimedia games inside and during the daytime it's able to record stories of people at the event. I really think that maybe what we'll find from this experience is that these stories are going to inspire other people and we're going to see something really grow from this experience. I really believe that stories are one of the most transformational tools that humans have. I joined the Marine Corps at 17, you know, right out of high school, mother uh, signed me away kind of thing. and. Um, I felt there was a bigger picture in the war rather than the whole political side of it, you know. It, it was more about helping people for me. And then I uh, ended up going back in 2011 to Sang in Afghanistan and um, I, was, I was en route to help another Marine when uh, I got injured. He ended up uh, stepping on another bomb, so that's kind of what happened to me. I lost a leg and um, kind of met these guys through the hospital. Obviously we all had the same influence of music and it kind of brought us together as a whole and as a group and as a family to to indulge that peace of mind that we, we've all been searching for, you know, we've, yeah. we've been through the shit storm and it's just incredible to get that peace of mind with this family now, you know. I, I couldn't be more honored to share our story and then hear other people's badass stories of how they came to love the music and we, sh yeah. we all share that common ground, you know, so that the fact that we're a part of this and it draws us in all equally is just amazing. It's all one big family, really One is, huge right? family, for sure. Um, so I served in the United States Marine Corps for mm -hmm. six years, and I actually just recently uh, medically retired May 30th. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the background to the, the whole medical retirement was uh, June 23rd, 2012, um, while serving as a helicopter gunner, my um, helicopter went down. Um, and where are you serving? Yeah, now I was at Afghanistan. Okay. And um, yeah, that last one, that the helicopter crash just you know, mm -hmm. threw my whole world upside down pretty much, and I've been fighting the uphill battle of recovering you know, for uh, you know, over two years now. Uh, done 34 surgeries and you know still still battling with my leg to see if I'm gonna be able to save it. You know it's always been my thing. You know since I got hurt was if I can make one person smile throughout my day, I'm gonna be all right. You know like yeah. I'm I'm still touching someone's life positively in that sense. While I was cooped up laying in the bed, I uh, I got into like you know DJing myself and music production. So it's like maybe not listening to it anymore. Now I'm actually you know you know. It's coming from the heart now, really? you know. What yes. kind of stuff do you uh, like to make? I, I like a lot of deep house. Oh, that's, what I that's my stuff too. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Okay. Yeah, so I've been doing a lot of deep house stuff. Well, we have a little DJ set up and speakers in my campsite, so maybe uh -oh. you can do a guest, <laughs> a little guest set. Drop in, say what's up. Yeah. My first experience with electronic music was when I got back from Iraq in 2010. And it just happened to be a couple of buddies. Just I happened to tag along with them to an event, and ever since then, it just really changed my life. I had no really liking for electronic music until I went to the event, and then mm -hmm. I just started to grow on me. I started going to them every weekend, and really, that just became like a release for me. Yeah, 
you know, to enjoy myself and find a way to, you know, find what it is I like to do in this life. Yeah. At first it was just the environment. It mm -hmm. was just okay. the environment and the vibe from, from the culture back then was just so amazing, was so welcoming. Nobody even knew me and it was my first time and already they were treating me like family. You know, That's what it's all about. It was just right? amazing. When Pat first told me about the the project, you know, I was I was all in. I was like, just tell me what I have to do, where I have to sign, and I'm there. And just to be able to give back to this uh, culture in any way possible is just a blessing in itself. There's no human face on veterans' issues for me until I started this program. I think that this is the start of more sharing of stories and hopefully a larger program that will reach more deeply into festival culture, more deeply into veteran culture to create something new and something different that helps to heal. I just went into this beautiful contraption and I wanted to know what it was and when they told me about like you know telling your personal story and everything I thought that was a really beautiful thing. Then I started talking and I just totally started crying. It is such a powerful thing to like have a moment to like actually intentionally reflect like when somebody actually says you know how do you feel about this community, how do you feel about what you're doing. It was super emotional and I feel really connected with it now. This whole thing is built with community in mind. Take this spirit and take this inspiration and bring it into the world.